Hey everyone, it's Lawrence here from Studio Hook, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do keyword research in five minutes. Now, before we get into this, for any of those SEO experts out there, people have been doing it for years, you might be thinking, Lawrence, you can't do keyword research in five minutes. It takes hours to do really comprehensive keyword research. But ironically, the reason that I found this keyword is by doing keyword research, and it has a pretty decent search volume behind it. That's why I'm creating this video, right? Now, I'm going to assume that the people looking for this keyword just want a quick way of understanding how to do keyword research and perhaps at that beginner level. So I'm going to show you a quick process in five minutes how to do keyword research right now uh, that you can use a couple tools and you can also use something like ChatGP to get going. Let's dive into it. So first off, what we want to do is identify the actual audience and topic that we're going after. Most of the time you actually should be sent doing this and to do it really quickly, I just have to pull out a word just straight from me, I always give protein powder. That's a really great topic to write about. There's lots of search volume and lots of different searches around it. So let's pick protein powder. We've got a protein store. We're trying to do keyword research and setting up our store for content, let's say. Let's dive into it. What I'll do first is I would go to something like Keyword Magic Tool and SEMrush. Now this is a paid tool, but this is how you can do keyword research really quickly, essentially, is by taking your core keyword that you're looking to go after, going into Keyword Magic Tool, entering in that core topic that you're looking for and looking at what keywords come up. And I would usually go to the question based ones because that's where we're going to get some really good content ideas. And already I've got 18,000 keywords to look through. All right, so now we've got our keywords. What I'm going to do is either any keyword research tool that will have an export to put into a new spreadsheet. Now that spreadsheet is just going to give you the raw information. We need to start filtering through that and create our own spreadsheet, start curating through these keywords and evaluating which one's going to be really useful. So whatever tool you're using, I'd hit export, get that spreadsheet up. Once we have that spreadsheet, cut down all the columns that aren't really that useful. Some of them put in the, the, the features and the SERPs and things like that. Not really useful at this point if we just want some really simple keyword research to work off. So I've just chosen to keep keyword, keyword difficulty, because that's gonna be useful to understanding what keywords to go after. Uh, volume, really, really useful, obviously. And intent, that's something that some of these tools have as well. Really useful to identifying what kind of uh, content to create behind these. So. We're still on the clock, we're still trying to do this under five minutes, so let's get going. All right, so now we're just gonna copy our keywords over like so. I've set up the columns really well. Awesome, that's copied over. I'm just gonna take over the intent as well. I wanna keep that for research later too. Uh, and there we have it. We have a bunch of keywords to look through. Now, alternatively, there is the old chat DQP. If I put in protein powder, uh, with the right prompt, so I'm using this one uh, really useful Chrome extension to use for ChatGPT to generate keywords off. I'm going to get some more keyword variations. The problem is here, I'm not going to get search volume, so I'm going to need to take that back into my tool and identify the search volume and then copy that back into the spreadsheet. Alright, so now we've got our keywords. What I've set up here is a little score indication. Now there's a bunch of different formulas you can use to identify you know, and, and filter through and figure out which keywords are really, really useful. And this is actually matching up against what's gonna be high volume and also gonna be low difficulty and pumping out a score. So the um, whatever score's presented to me, I'm gonna start identifying and looking through uh, which is the highest score because that's gonna show me which is the most difficulty, but which, which is the most difficult keyword and whichever has a lower score is essentially gonna be something really useful and probably want something I wanna go after as well. I'm also gonna look through search intent and start curating it through there. So that's just a simple five minute way to start doing keyword research. Optionally as well, if you wanted another way of filtering through and making sure you're identifying the right keywords is going to something like Google Trends. And this is where you wanna start looking for those trend spikes to see if there's some content that you need to create really quickly uh, as well, because there's obviously big spikes in different, different industries at different times. And it might be a term that might be uh, really hot right now and something to create a keyword around. So I'm taking organic protein powder, I'm tracking it through and lo and behold, there's a massive spike for organic protein powder happening uh, within the next, uh, within literally this month, it might be time for me to start pushing that as one of the products I wanna sell on my website based on this keyword research. So there you have it, done in five minutes, a simple spreadsheet with some simple scores behind it as well. Uh, you're not gonna be able to uh, site architect your entire website or develop a massive content strategy out of that. It's gonna take way more than five minutes, but if you're just looking for some quick things to get started, that's how I do it in five minutes.